Alondra hopped onto her computer after a long week of school. She turned up her music volume to max and laid down on her bed as she listened to Break by Three Days of Grace. Just as Alondra was about to doze off, she began to cough. At first, it was soft, well-controlled coughs, but it soon led to heavy, bloody, wild coughs. Alondra paused the current song she was listening to and stumbled out of her bedroom, still coughing up a storm, and turned on the bathroom light. Alondra's lips were covered in blood, glistening from the bathroom light. Alondra turned on the water and rinsed out her mouth, but the blood kept on coming. Did she just burst a vein in her throat? She could feel the warm metallic liquid stream down her esophagus, so that could be a possibility. Alondra couldn't stop the bleeding, so she just let the blood flow, hoping that nature would take its course. Hours passed. There was still a slight trickle of blood running down her throat. Alondra finally gave in and told her mom about it. She and her mother went to the hospital to get things checked out. It turns out, yes, Alondra did have multiple burst veins, and they would not heal properly without medical help. Alondra would have to, would have to spend a month in the hospital. Half a month passes, and Alondra is fed up with the constant nurses and doctors needing to give her drugs to help numb her throat for further inspection. She was starting to become insane. She decided that if one more doctor or nurse came in to give her more drugs, she would try her best to attack them, even though she was highly sedated. Moments after her plan, a nurse walked into her room. Alondra absolutely hated this nurse. She wore bold red lipstick, had red hair, green eyes, bold eyeliner, and she wore a push-up bra, which she even stuffed further. So it looks like she has a D++ cup size. Alondra thought she was a professional slut. All right, hon, we need to give you your meds, said the nurse in a squeaky tone of voice. Alondra shook her head no. The nurse sighed. Fine. I'll just have to dissate you even further. Alondra sprang, sprang out of her bed and sprinted to the door. Ah, ah, ah! Where are you going? Mocked the nurse as she caught Alondra's arm. Alondra whipped around and slapped the nurse across the face. Alondra watched the nurse's face change from shock to confusion to anger. Before she knew it, Alondra was pinned to the wall by the nurse. Now listen here, you brat. You will take your meds. Alondra kneed the nurse's thigh, which caused her to lose her grip on Alondra. The teenager then kneed the nurse's chin, which caused her to collapse. You faggot, whimpered the nurse. Alondra smiled. Alondra reached down in the nurse's breast pocket. The nurse tried to slap Alondra's hand away but she kicked the nurse's breast. The nurse yelped in pain. Alondra reached back down to get the object she was originally going for, a sharpened wire kept for self-defense, most likely when the nurse was out being a prostitute. What are you doing, you bitch? stuttered the nurse. Alondra raised the sharp wire and swiftly slit the nurse's throat. The nurse didn't even make a sound. She was too fast. Sirens blared throughout the hospital. The cameras had been watching their little feud this whole time. Only mere seconds until the room would be flooded with doctors and medics. Lantra had only a few seconds to think of a plan of where to hide. Within a few seconds, doctors filled the room. But only the dead nurse was left in the room. Her neck still bleeding. A slight breeze entered the room. The window was open. Warm metallic liquid streamed down her esophagus so that she could. Fuck. <laughs>